Nigerians are cowards. Why wouldn't they say this when he was alive? Those who are criticizing him, they listen to fake video. That video will judge them. His death will judge them. Those who benefit from Joshua when he was alive, their life will judge them. BBC are racist. Hi guys, we're out here on the street of Lagos to find out people's opinion on the BBC documentary allegedly exposing abuses by the late Pastor TB Joshua. The question is, do people believe the documentary? Is it supposed to be released now that the man is dead and cannot defend himself? I want to hear what people have to say because social media has been buzzing left, right, center with opinions. My name is Zua and I'm out here to do the needful. Let's go. Rolling. Now, what's your question? Okay, sir. Good afternoon, first of all. I would like to know your name. My name is Comrade Dada Muti Bankole. Okay, so people have been saying a lot about Pastor TB Joshua releasing videos. So my question is, do you believe these things that they are saying about him? And do you think that they should have released it now that he's dead? You see, Nigerians are cowards. Most especially our religious people. Both Muslim and Christian, they are cowards. Why wouldn't they say this when he was alive? Who among them that are doing what that man was doing? Eh? They're crazy. Who is Jesus among them? Who is Anobi Muhammad among them? You see, TB Joshua, I've done wonders when he was alive. I love him among all pastors. Those who are criticizing him, releasing fake video. That video will judge them. His death will judge them. Those who benefit from Joshua when he was alive, their life will judge them. Whether they want the cancellation or condemnation of the church, or they want the church to be removed from Nigeria, I don't know what is going to cause them. Because people are still trooping there. Man, let me tell you, I have calling. I have calling, real calling as a pastor. I'm a born Muslim. Because of this uh, critic in Nigeria, God still wants me to do this. If I want to do Christian religion, I will do beyond C.B. Joshua. No tithe will be paid. When you pay the tithe in the church, I will release it to the public. You don't, you don't, you don't multiply your riches. I condemn other pastors that are doing good in the public. Why wouldn't they release the video when he was alive? They are bastards. Make the man's spirit judge them. Who is God among the us? God says his creator's finish and it was, his mind is, it was sad for creating us, we human beings. Who is God in this world? I don't want to mention any pastor's name. But I'm telling you, every religious leader in Nigeria today that are within this this video released against TB Joshua, they are all cowards. They will, they will be punished by God in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you so much. Eh? They are crazy. The guy has done well. Go to Egbe. A lot of people are crying because of that man. Go among the northerners. Some of the people are benefiting when he was alive. How many pastors that are buying uh, uh, aircraft today? Does Jesus Christ uh, enter aircraft? You will be going to NIVG. A pastor that was delivering speech will be, will be coming with siren around 1 a.m. If he's so religious, why is he not coming without, uh, without siren? Why is he not coming by, by leg, by road in 1, 1, 1, 1 a.m.? That is a man of God. You have to walk on the road to prove your, 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 your fanaticism, whether you are righteous or not. Don't use siren. Government should bind pastor or imam using siren. They should ban them. Pastor that are using their bands as their followers, they should ban them. They are cowards. They should not abuse TB Joshua. The man is sleeping in peace. And his wife that is alive will enjoy his resources in Jesus' mighty name. We are all human beings. I've never met Pastor TB Joshua. But from the documentary, the guy is dead. And I believe he's with his maker at this hour. Why don't you look at the inward of all the things he has done? in the past. Before he left, he has imparted into people's life. He has been a blessing to people's life. He went to the extent of a lot of people he has been feeding. And if he can be feeding a lot of people while at his lifetime, I believe God Almighty must have forgiven him. Why didn't they write that kind of documentary while he was alive? A vivid story which I could talk about. I remember there was an incident. A couple, the wife was in labor. He didn't even know he's a Muslim. He went to TB Joshua. I don't know anything, but I heard the story. But the man went to him. 
and he was given an assistant immediately. How many pastor or afa or imam does they give instant assistant like that? The first question will be, who do you know? And the next thing they will ask you that, who is your godfather? And at the end of the day, the so-called doctor will first say, go and bring money or anything. This man called T.B. Joshua gave the money out. Gave the money out for the man, not knowing him or anything. After giving the man the money, the guy has three down the three plates. Then when we are talking of he imparts into people's life. I don't know him and I've never met him in his lifetime. Why didn't they bring that kind of story while he was alive? And I want to tell you, T B Joshua tried his own best. I've not fully watched it, but I watched in bits and pieces on social media. I'm I'm kind of the person that likes to be in the middle and then the man is not alive to defend himself or anything now. So I'll just say that he he claims to be a man of God, or whosoever claims to be a man of God, let the God that called them, let him judge them, because everybody now seems to have an opinion. And I think that this TB Joshua thing, some people are now using it as a direct attack to the body of the church or Christ. So it's better for people to just allow whatever it is that has happened, and then let's see what God has to say. That's my personal opinion, please. And so that does it. Uh, Pastor T.B. Joshua is a very, very uh, influential man of God that I respect. And then uh, I feel there's freedom of information. So it's right if the information is true or if the sources are, are real. It's okay for them to release the information irrespective of he, if it's alive or dead. So it could also serve as a, a notice to other vulnerable people out there. So uh, for me, I think it's just all about uh, it's just all about sensit sensitization. So even if it's true or not, such thing is going on with other people. So it's good to release it. The origin of the investigation is about uh, is from the daughter. So that's kind of send a message that it speaks volume. That okay, it may be true. To a large extent, that may be very true. When people do wrong things, the the how that is published depends on the the power of the person. For example now, some, uh, some president like now, some late president now, they talk about what they embezzle when they have gone. So it depends, uh, what I'll just say is that maybe it, it, it's, it says a lot about how the person, how powerful the person is. It, it's, it may not be right, but the extent to which the person can cover up, that's, that's what we determine whether they will publish his uh, atrocities when he's alive or when he's dead. Maybe it's necessary and you know he's going to give us, he's going to teach everybody to learn from what has happened. You know even when you have gone you don't want your name to be spoiled so you be careful of how you live your life. I don't believe the documentary. My reason being that something you can't say when someone is there then it's surely not right because you are scared of it being criticized. If you know you can't say it when the man was alive then keep short now that the man is there. There's no reason to speak when he can be defended. I really don't know him, but I know he's a really good man. But when it comes to time of believing and what he believes, he's dead already. So I don't know why people are bringing up things about a dead person out. But what I know is that when someone has Christ in them, that there is no actually need for them to do bad things. So it depends on what he's believing and where he got his powers and everything from. If it's the God we all serve, then yeah. I don't think that's him and stuff like that. The documentary came with a lot of evidences and uh, even the people in the documentary were people in the church, um, as they said, and you could also see these people with him in the video. So um, there is a lot, there is some atom of truth to the documentary. And I know no man is perfect. Um, so, but um, should they have released it now? Um, probably they might, they, might, they might have released it earlier, but, you know, um, I don't think releasing it now makes uh, too much sense. It would have been earlier when he was alive in order for him to speak because the dead can't really defend uh, himself now. To me, I did not believe the video because he, he actually did that. Why didn't they release it when he was alive? Why now? So I was thinking they want to collect the charge from that woman since she refused to be a pastor to that church. To me, I'm not believing anything coming out from that. 
because I don't think it's very necessary. The man is late already. He's not yet to defend himself. So what's the need for the video? So I don't see anything. I do not believe in it. First of all, I don't believe the documentary is real. Uh, because why should you wait first when the person that is supposed to defend himself is no longer alive? And I think that's just all. So that's why I don't believe it. Short and precise. Ah, short and precise. There's, nothing, there's no long cap this time around. So there's no need to beat around the bush and say what is not. Yeah. Definitely is not true. I didn't mean it's true. You have said it. And I think BBC at the moment, I don't think I can get um, confirmed information, context from BBC. Because I think they work for their abroad. So they are, anything they are trying to do is to bring the black man down. They are racist. Forget the fact that they are white. They are saying no to racism. The white people, Caucasians, they are racist. So that's just it. Yeah, I've seen the documentary and... I don't believe, I, I believe everybody that came out. I know I, some of those that came out have been in the news for quite a while. Yeah. There, there, there's this older woman that came out, so she's been, she's been talking about since 2021, 2019, long ago. I've seen some article that came out years ago about T.B. Joshua, and most of the things I was saying in that article were something that was spoken about in the documentary. So yeah, I believe people that came out in the documentary, and I believe that they were coming out to talk about what happened to them, which is understandable but at the, at the same time if I'm not allowed to defend myself when you are, come out and say something about me I'm not allowed to defend myself become like like there's no rebuttal from the person so it's good it's to believe but then again when you look at the long issue of people that have been coming out yes so you understand why the documentary needed to come out whether he was alive maybe whether he was dead the documentary needed to be out truth needed to be said and certain things needed to be exposed. So yes, I, I'm in support of the documentary. Hi guys, you've heard what people have to say. People gave different opinion on this documentary. But anyways, I want you to join the conversation in the comment section. Let us know what you think. Follow us on all our social media platforms. On Instagram, it's official Heap TV. On TikTok, Heap TV double underscore. And on YouTube, Heap TV. Do not forget to turn on that post notification. So when we drop bangers, you can watch. My name is Zuwa. Thank you so much for watching.